Is YouTube right for you? Should you have a YouTube channel? We'll discuss that in this video, and if you are a small channel trying to grow, I'll give you some tips that'll help your channel explode. Let's jump into it. What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. The sexy as hell host. Bringing you guys a life game. I'm going to consider this financial because I believe everybody nowadays needs some form of video presence online so that you can have a point of reference of what you're all about. And there's no bigger point of reference online for videos than YouTube. Whether you're a business owner, whether you're a new YouTuber, no matter who you are, if you want to get into the YouTube game, there are some principles that you have to execute to make it work. I'm going to give you five of my favorite principles that I've used. I'm growing now. I'm a little over 88,000 subscribers, and it's been very good to me. It's been a wild ride, but it's a learning process. And here's what I've learned so far. One of the number one ways you can grow is to do collabs with other YouTubers. Now, I've not done many collabs with any YouTubers. I really haven't done any collabs with YouTubers at all, but I'm going to start doing that this year with some of my favorite YouTubers out there. I've contacted a few of them, and a few have said, yes, I would love to do a YouTube with you life game, so you know who you are. I'll be seeing you soon. But that is a way for you to get your point across to thousands of other people. So let's say you do 15 collabs in six months. That's whatever the strength of those other YouTubers channels are, you've got their viewers and some of those viewers are going to like your content this is not a hoarding system ladies and gentlemen you can have multiple youtube channels that you love and adore and i'm real big and people doing collabs so that would be my number one idea number two is social media and when i say social media i mean everything from your facebook your instagram your twitter to even joining facebook groups now there's a way you've got to do this you don't want to just join a Facebook group and then start posting your YouTube channel. You don't want to do that on Instagram either. You want to join these groups or you want to be active on social media, your Instagram and Twitter, doing things that people like. Instagram people love pictures, so be active putting pictures in there. Facebook groups, they like you participating in whatever the group theme is, so you're going to want to actively participate in those group things. And then you start sprinkling in your YouTube channel and the content on your YouTube channel as it pertains to that group. But just be careful. You can't be doing a thousand Facebook posts groups a day because Facebook has gotten pretty hardcore about saying something is spam, even though it really might not be. It's SEO, search engine optimization. And what I like to do is you find a web, you go to YouTube, whatever your theme or whatever your niche based channel is all about, you just search YouTube see what's hot for that niche. And from that niche, you kind of pick phrases for your title that will kind of coincide with what YouTube already showed you people are looking for. Then you're gonna to want to optimize your tags and your titles and your playlist to coincide with those specific search terms that you saw on YouTube. That would be number three. Number four for me is do live streams. And that's another one that I haven't taken advantage of but to the YouTubers I know that use it, man, their channel goes up really high. Hindenburg Heights. I mean, they almost up there at the moon just by doing live streams. But what I have done that you also can do is I participate in live streams. I comment with some of those YouTubers. I leave comments and some people realize that I'm a YouTube channel person myself. So they'll wind up joining my channel because they see me giving great commentary in the live stream comments. So that's something else you can do to grow your channel. And my last one that sometimes seems to be overlooked or forgotten by YouTubers, um, keep your current traffic maximized. Keep your current subscribers happy as best as possible. And what do you do with that? You take your, you, you really, really want to maximize your pin playlist. Um, use cards at the end of your video and you also want to take advantage of the youtube featured content on your channel and one thing that i do for other youtubers that i like there's a featured section of channels that i like to look at that i put in my youtube channel as well and usually their content coincides with what i'm doing so those are my top five ways that you can kind of grow and promote your youtube channel and help this thing really take off and be successful for you 
And as always, whatever you're doing, make sure you're really passionate about it because YouTube is not some get rich quick scheme. It is more of a tool for you to utilize and maximize what you're already doing in life and help that grow. And if something else springs from it, then that's just a positive. For me, a lot of good things have sprung from it. I've been able to do uh, reviews on lots of things that I've been so happy to use in my life nowadays. And this will really be a life game for you just by getting your YouTube channel growing. That's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself a life game. If you're interested in learning more about how to grow your channel and you want to collab with me, just shoot me an email. www.facebook.com forward slash lifegains07 is another way you can send me a message. If you want a little help in building your channel, I'm here to offer that as well. Same platform. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.